How do you like Subana no Samana Illuminati? Light tunnel. Come to the tunnel of lights. All right, guys, we are here at Nabana no Sato. You know, honestly, I had absolutely no idea what this was about until my girlfriend's like, oh, this is something we have to go to. It's so famous. This is what all the Japanese want to do all over Japan. But it's located here in Nagoya, in the middle of nowhere. And it only happens in the winter. So we traveled all the way out here to check out what this Nabana no Sato is, being that it is one of the biggest illumination festivals, not only in Japan, but in the world. And we're also going to show you towards the end how you can affordably do that as we have found various ways to get out here on the budget and also a bundle deal that will get you all the train ticket and the entrance ticket here to Nabana no Sato. But without further ado, here's Nabana no Sato. So this place is set up around a big pond and just so there's no confusion, there are arrows to point the trail that you can go around it so you don't miss anything. <laughs> so nice. Arigato The entrance to this place includes a thousand yen. So we have to use it here somewhere. Most likely, we imagined it would be on food. Even though this is sort of like an amusement park, it doesn't have amusement park prices. This is pretty much the standard price here in Japan. But look at the view. Nobody is using this cafe. This is a good deal. I was sort of skeptical about this, a light show. So be honest, how skeptical were you when I first said, let's go to a light festival? I don't know, you hyped it up a lot. <laughs> A lot bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, originally I I was like skeptical small. too, and then Mayu's like, check it out, and there's like 50 million LEDs, and I'm like, well, okay, we gotta see this. Whoa, what is happening there? Oh, that UFO rises with Mount Fuji. Okay, we gotta go there. This place is huge. We gotta get going. All right, guys. So if you're not into spending money on food, here's one way: 600 yen for this UFO observatory. If you look real carefully, on top of it is Mount Fuji. Just a word of caution, you might have guys who love taking selfies like this guy. Won't move. What do you think that you're doing? What do you we're think you're not, doing right now? We're not even right now? at the main you're taking, you're place of like, illumination. When we the get there, place? Tenku no Fine or something, where there is a pirate ship on a freaking. How was I supposed uh, to know what the main thing We gotta go, we gotta go. Alright, guys, so we're at the next location. It is 200 meters of illumination. I'll have you guys know that each one of these LEDs are shaped like a flower. This is definitely a place you do want to come as a couple. It's super romantic. Romance works too. All right guys, so we're finally at the main place of illumination. Check this out. So this place changes yearly. And this year it is like some pirate ship that turns into a whale. I'm gonna go ahead and film this so you guys can see it. It's so amazing. So if you're wondering what they do with all this space in the non-winter months, it's full of flowers. So it was originally a flower garden, but now it's more famous and popular for its illumination in the winter months only. Not only can you just like view this from the top of that observatory right there, you can actually literally go into the middle of the LEDs and view it up close. So I'm gonna go check it out there and show you guys what it's like for that experience. <laughs> you feel more Christmas? <laughs> yeah guys, you know, there's so many things that we did in Nagoya. I don't want to say that the other things aren't as good, but it's just, I don't know. This was the thing I sort of knew was gonna have to be good because we're paying the most. But I knew it was unique. That's why I was willing to do it. But now that I'm here, I'm really happy we did it. This is my favorite thing. What about you, Mayu? I like the color. I yeah. like the sit -up. It's very cold, but <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the only the, the season that we can like enjoy those. Yeah. 
I'm so happy like because these are the moments that I'm really happy to be living and traveling in Asia because I'm catching stuff in season that you can only do in this season and I'm so lucky to have been able to experience it because who knows next year there might be some economical issues whatever you can never count on these things being around forever although this has been around for a couple decades I believe but I really feel Christmassy right now I feel happy season right now I don't know what it is it's the kid in me or something but yeah when I saw the photos and the even the YouTube videos that other vloggers were doing I'm like eh. but being here is a completely different experience guys it's like the ambience the music everywhere that's happy all the lovey-dovey couples highly recommend that you come here if you have a girlfriend especially by the way I'm sort of taking a peek inside this really big greenhouse complex if you pay an extra thousand yen you can go in there so guys so far what happened is we entered here and then this is the chapel area and we walked around the lake went here and we went to this main big area and now we circled back around to this greenhouse we're gonna meet Jonathan and them back here and check out the rest. They put the sign upside down so you could see it right side up in the reflection of the water. What it says in Japanese is mirror pond. So if you put in an extra 200, you can have an onsen experience. Honestly, if I knew about this, I would have came here earlier and I would have done it. For $12, that's sort of a steal. Hope you like Tuba, no, no, no I still don't know its name, but I like it It means something like a flower in winter or something But it is cool Come to... What is it called? If they said that this music was composed by the guy that did Final Fantasy, I'd believe it It's like a Japanese video game here that one is mochi. I can take mochi. Okay, Mai is feeling this. So you get tea and mochi, but mochi added with red bean and mochi with seaweed. We also got koroke for 220, 270, and then now we got steamed beef buns. They're 500 yen. And in case you can't really find a reason to use your coupon on any of those, they even have beer and other groceries. All right, so me and Maya opted for the bun. Look at that. Oh, what does it say on there? All right, guys, so this is what 20 bucks will get you. So Mayu is telling me that you should Google this. This is the Kobe beef of beef buns. Matsuza whatever. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, I don't know if it's worth $5, but it's definitely one of the best beef buns I've had. Mm. The bun is so fluffy. And chewy at the same time. And the beef itself, it's premium beef. There's like no big lumps of fat or cartilage like some of the other beef buns I've had in my life. It was really good. Alright, for my final 500, we're getting overpriced ice cream. Hopefully, it's as good and premium as this overpriced bun that I just had. See, they have a yellow part which is cheese. White part is just milk. <laughs> She's so happy. I can't share with you. <laughs> it's my money. So I'm getting it. Yeah, me too. Look at that. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, you like it? We should try it. I'm gonna try it. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try cheese. Oh. You like cheese? Oh, that is quite good. That is quite good. <laughs> I don't want to recommend something so overpriced and then have you guys disappointed and blame me for hyping it up. But I am that convinced that this is that good. Y'all know how cheap I am, so. Do you regret getting the beer now? 
Well, never regret getting the beer, but this is pretty good. Yeah. What if you had? If you only had a choice, a beer or ice cream? Ice cream. <laughs> Period. Ice cream. It's so good. I don't know what this Latel ice cream is, but it's so good. I don't know. There's not many opportunities you get to take a picture on the tracks. Previously. So if you wanna get the bus tickets, that would be Kyoto Station. You would come out here to the bus area and purchase it in that blue building there. She got it online, so we can just walk right in after checking everything. As you can see, the bus even has free Wi-Fi and electric chargers for everybody. This is how the seats look. So the only real inconvenience is that it takes about two and a half hours to get to Nagoya instead of like an hour by Shinkansen. But we're saving almost like $60. So it works out for us because you can't check into the hotel before three anyways. And Mayu wants to take a nap inside the warm bus. What is this thing called, by the way? Moingong. The Konvini sandwiches. On a side note, uh, 7-Eleven sandwiches here are hyped. I think the Korean ones are actually better. Another little side note, when we were booking, they didn't have seats next to each other, but we figured, hey, you know what, if we go there, we'll figure it out. And sure enough, the bus driver sort of just lets us switch around. And uh, we ended up saving like another $20 because of that, right? Because if you wanted to have exact seating, you have to pay extra for it. The reason why we're able to get it for a cheaper price, not next to each other, is because apparently they start selling the tickets in advance cheaper. Especially if you're going on a weekend, you want to go to the ticketing office and get these tickets fast before they run out. Alright, actually I'm here at Nagoya bus station, which is right behind the Nagoya train station. And I just tried purchasing the tickets myself in future. It's quite easy actually, you can figure it out too. But just in case, I'm showing you how to do it. Just pick English, pick the location you want to go to, and just pick the discounted tickets on to the left hand side. And if you do it, you know, early enough, you can get it for the 1400 yen instead of the regular. So to get the discounted tickets to the attraction, you have to come to the ticketing office at the Kintetsu line. And then you can ask for it with one of these people. This includes a JR limited train to the park, but it's really hard to figure out which one it is. So make sure you ask what platform you're supposed to get on. They said it's three for us, but it might be different for you. So it's just one stop down the Limited Express oh, that train? and uh, we're supposed to transfer. So it was two more stations down from the transfer and they do announce in English to get off at this station. Please get off at this station. As soon as you exit Nagashima station, the shuttle will be to your right over there. They give you so many tickets, you have to understand that one of these are for the subway ride and this is the one that's going to take us back. This is in English, Kintetsu Nagashima back to Nagoya. So you use the other one to get here and then this one, this sign, it's a round trip ticket on the shuttle. That one you have to hold on to um, and then they give you, you see, 500, that is worth 500 yen. So you get two of those for a thousand. And you gotta spend that inside. And this is the entrance ticket, the one that's left over. Uh, other than the 500 coupons. They're the same color. Anyways, all together this is 3,500 yen. Uh, you're getting a thousand yen as a coupon, so... 2,500 yen, including transportation, entrance to the park. It's the best deal you're going to be able to get. Alright, so you just show it and you hold on to it because we'll need it on the way back. Otherwise, you'll be stranded out here in the middle of nowhere. Really important to note that the last bus heading back 
to the station is at 9.10. So just be sure you have plenty of time to check this place out. And now I'm going to be checking it out and telling you all about it. But if you enjoyed this video, you know, click like, share, subscribe, and let me know what else you want to see in Japan. And I'll see you guys next week for more vlogs about living and traveling in Asia. is in the way. <laughs> <laughs>